Ever find yourself looking at your dog or cat and thinking, I wish you could just tell me what you're thinking? Mm. Well, get this. We might be closer to actually understanding animal languages than we think. And no, I'm not talking about Dr. Doolittle. This is about cutting edge AI, and it's pretty mind blowing. So you sent over this incredible Vox video about it, right? Mm. About how AI could change the way we understand the entire animal kingdom. It really is amazing stuff and about time. We've been trying to understand animals for centuries using pretty limited tools. Watching their behavior, listening to sounds, trying to decode it all. It's like trying to solve a puzzle, but with half the pieces missing. Okay, I like that analogy, but so where does the AI come in? Think of AI as the missing puzzle piece. Okay. We use AI to translate between languages, right? Right, right. So why not apply that same technology to the way animals communicate? Oh, wow, yeah, I see where you're going with this. So it's not just like, you know, t teaching a dog to sit. We're talking about actually understanding the complexities of like a beehive or, exactly. or whale songs, right? Exactly. Imagine being able to understand the songs of whales across entire oceans. That's incredible. We could unlock so many mysteries that way, right? Absolutely. Like migration patterns, how they're all communicating across the world, mating rituals. Heck, maybe we could even predict natural disasters if we understand animal warnings. Like I said, this is mind-blowing. And what's really fascinating is it makes you wonder what we've been missing this whole time. Yeah. For example, did you know that researchers have discovered elephants might actually call each other by names? Wait, really? Yeah. Elephants. Isn't that wild? That's wild. It really highlights how much we still have to learn about animal communication. Just imagine the breakthroughs waiting to be uncovered with AI. Okay, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves, how does this whole AI thing actually work? I mean, the video talks about two main approaches supervised and self-supervised learning. Right, so think of supervised learning, like as you said, teaching a dog with treats. Okay. You basically show the AI labeled data, like this bat sound means danger, or this whale call is for attracting a mate. The AI then learns to recognize those patterns. So we're teaching the AI a specific animal language based on what we think we already know. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. But what about the animal conversations we can't even begin to decipher? That's where self-supervised learning comes in, right? Exactly. That's where things get really, really fascinating. So, with self-supervised learning, the AI is essentially learning by itself. Just like you and I learned language by being immersed in it as children. The AI analyzes massive, and I mean massive, data sets of animal communication to find patterns. Wait, hold on. So you're telling me we could be on the verge of understanding entire languages we didn't even know existed. That's like straight out of a sci-fi movie. It really is incredible. And there's this project, the Earth Species Project, okay. and they are aiming to create a Rosetta Stone for animal languages yeah. using this very technology. Right. My mind is officially blown. But I mean, if this actually works, the implications are huge. We're talking about transforming how we approach conservation, understanding animal behavior on a whole new level. And maybe even, you know, rethinking our entire relationship with the natural world. Okay, so let's say this Earth Species Project, they actually pull this off. We've got this AI Rosetta Stone. It's ready to translate whale songs and prairie dog chatter. <laughs> What's next? Like, do we just start, I don't know, blasting messages into the rainforest? No, hold on there. It's not quite like that. <laughs> Even if we can understand the messages, it doesn't mean we can just, like, hack into the conversation and control it, you know? Yep. It's more like we can finally listen in on a chat we weren't invited to. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's about understanding, not about controlling, right? Exactly. But still, think about it. Imagine the possibilities. Farmers could use this tech to check on their livestock. Like, hey, are you stressed out? Need anything? Absolutely. It's amazing. And conservation. Think about it. We could monitor endangered species, mm -hmm. figure out their needs, protect them better. We could even prevent poaching by recognizing distress calls in real time. It's like we've been playing this game of charades with animals forever. And now, now we're finally getting that translation dictionary. Exactly. It's incredible to think about what we could learn. We could unlock some of the biggest mysteries, like why are certain bird species disappearing? Right, right. What's yeah. really happening in the deepest parts of the ocean? The answers could be within reach. It's pretty amazing stuff, but I'm guessing there's some downsides too, right? I mean, I've seen enough sci-fi movies to know that AI doesn't always, you know, AI doesn't always play nice. You're right. To be cautious, it's not all sunshine and roses. Mm. One of the biggest challenges the video talked about is this thing called the validation problem. 
validation problem. That sounds serious. It is. It's basically, how do we know if the AI is actually getting it right? Like, we can't exactly just ask a dolphin if our translation is accurate. Right, it's not like I can ask my dog. It makes sense, though, if you think about it. Like, I can teach my dog to sit with treats, but do I really know what's going on in that furry little head? Exactly. So we could be misinterpreting things, or worse. We need to be incredibly careful. That's the key here. We could use this technology in ways that end up harming animals if we're not careful. So it's like we're walking a tightrope here, aren't we? On one hand, this incredible potential groundbreaking discoveries about how animals communicate. Yeah. And on the other, the risk of getting it all wrong, of actually causing more harm than good. It really highlights just how important it is to approach all this with, well, with humility. A deep respect for the natural world, for these creatures. Right. We can't let the excitement over the possibilities blind us to, you know, to the potential consequences. It's not about exploiting animals or bending them to our will. It's about understanding. Exactly. Understanding them better so we can, I don't know, maybe coexist a little better. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, imagine a future where conservationists can use this tech to, say, to track animal populations more accurately than ever, identify poaching hotspots before it's too late, huh. really get ahead of the curve, even understand the impact of climate change on different species in ways we just, we never could before. It's like we could move from this reactive approach to conservation to a proactive one, mm. anticipating problems before they even happen. Exactly, that's the whole idea. And it's not just the big picture stuff either. You know, think about it. What about improving animal welfare in, say, zoos, sanctuaries, even our own homes. Oh, now you're speaking my language. I would love to know what my dog is really thinking all day long. Maybe he's like a closet philosopher. We just don't know it. You never know. But on a more serious note, this technology, it really does have the potential to change our relationship with the animal kingdom. And I'd say for the better. It really is incredible, isn't it? Like we're on the edge of this whole new era of communication, not just between people, but between species. And who knows, maybe by listening to animals, by really trying to understand, maybe we'll end up learning something about ourselves in the process, right? Uh, that's a great point, I love that. This has been an amazing conversation, really eye-opening. And I have to say a huge thank you to the Vox team. The video was fascinating. To our listeners, if you want to dive deeper into all this, and trust me, you do, we'll have a link to the full Vox video in the show notes. And with that, we've reached the end of another deep dive. But don't worry, we'll be back soon with a fresh stack of sources and a whole new topic to explore. Until then, stay curious, keep those minds open, and remember, the most fascinating conversations are often the ones we're just beginning to understand.